You're never more than 10 minutes away from weather and traffic with meteorologist Chris Amino in for Byron this morning, traffic anchor Alex Lee. Good I think morning. the I think the problem is this morning is that it's that cold outside mm -hmm. and I'm still drinking iced coffee. Why? Oh my <laughs> What's wrong with me? Is <laughs> I know. Are you okay? Hey, you know. Why don't you yeah, come out here and join me in the snowstorm? That <laughs> All right. <laughs> look great out there, Chris. As long good. as I could use that snowblower. <laughs> <There's a jacket. laughs> Nothing accumulates on me. It's amazing. All right. We're talking about, though, a potential winter storm here. We're tracking a nor'easter for Friday night into Saturday. Heavy snow and strong winds a possibility, especially east of the city. And I'll talk about that more as we go through this. Blizzard conditions possible, again, especially east of the city. But the track and the intensity is still uncertain. That's the problem. We've got various computer models and they've been all over the board and even within each model they've been inconsistent. So I'll break that down for you in just a second. We know it's cold. That's a given. That's an easy forecast. Three up in East Fishkill right now. 20 Bayonne, 10 at Red Bank. It's 19 in the city. Not a lot of wind, so the wind chill is not a big issue, but we're seeing some wind chills near or even a little bit below zero. Satellite radar continues also to show that northerly wind. That's that cold wind direction, but there's nothing nearby in terms of any organized clouds. We've got high pressure building in another sunny day and we're in good shape in that regard with light wind. It'll feel a little bit better I think by the end of the day with that center of the high then moving offshore. After that, though, as we look at our future cast, this is the European model showing the precipitation. As we go through the day today, obviously nothing. Tomorrow morning, there could be a little batch of snow flurries or snow showers with an Arctic front, kind of a reinforcing shot of cold air that's trying to move in. That's not the storm. So if you see some flakes in the air tomorrow, don't think, oh, it got here early. That's just actually the cold front that's coming on through. This is the storm riding up from the south overnight, probably after midnight Saturday night. Notice the darker shadings, and they start to fill in and move back towards us by Saturday morning. This is 9 a.m. Saturday morning. Morning. It should be snowing at a pretty good clip, especially from the city, northeast New Jersey, eastward. Lesser amounts and lighter snows to the north and west. Notice that dark shading persistent over eastern Long Island, central Long Island. That's where the snow could potentially really pile up. If you take this and shift it just a little further west, it would be the city. But I think the city's kind of in that moderate area of snow. Heaviest chance east, lighters to the snows to the north and west. But here are the different models. This is what we're dealing with. GFS model, only an inch and a half, it's suggesting in the city. Bet one to three across Long Island, three down the shore, and even lesser amounts north and west. Now we go to the North America model. This is the heavy hitter, almost two feet of snow or more out across central and eastern Long Island, over a foot in the city. Again, these are just some of the model suggestions. I'm not telling you that's what's going to happen just yet because then we have the European model that says about eight and a half in the city and a foot or more out across Long Island. This one probably is closer to at this point what I think reality will be, but we really have to just watch this one computer run by computer run. Quiet today, quiet tomorrow during the day, maybe a snow shower too, and then the snow moves in Friday night into Saturday. After that, just windy, chilly on Sunday, and a slow moderating trend finally by the middle of next week.